Hi, everybody. This is Sherry Leopold, and we're here with another edition of Outside the Box with Sherry. And we have a powerful, wonderful woman here today to share with you. And her name is Gabby Abdel Gadir. And she is a speaker, a coach, and she is an author of an incredible book that we are going to uh, share with you today that is very timely and, and a very important topic. Welcome to the show, Gabby. Thank you so much, Sherry, for having me. I'm so thrilled to have you here, and this is such an important topic. Can you share what the name of your book is and, and, and really what spoke to you about this topic that really you wanted to get this message out here? Okay, so uh, the book uh, is called The Book on Discrimination, and it's real life stories of struggle goals and triumphs. So it's not only my story, but I have uh, people from police officers to, to everybody who, to a psychologist, a doctor who share discrimination stories in this book. And I have interviewed kids uh, from grade six and above. I won't mention their names for privacy reasons. I've also interviewed adults in addition to my own experiences. So um, this is not new to me. Uh, Sherry, so I have been thinking about it for years, mm -hmm. whether when I was in the country where I was born in, in Africa, when I was work, worked in the Middle East, and then I came to Canada, like I have seen it all the discrimination thing. And I have a I question was, to ask you before we yeah. pop off that topic. Do you feel that the... Um, that it's different since you've lived in several countries? Have you experienced that discrimination? Is it different or is it really all the same no matter where you are? It is, it is there everywhere, but in a different format. Like here, they, there is the discrimination is there, whether it's in school, whether it's in the workplace, but they do it um, in a way, in a very, um, should I say interesting or should I say devious way? Because if you're Subtle performing, perhaps. yeah, exactly. You're performing better than the next person, but then there is a promotion. And then the next person is the one who gets the promotion, not you. Although you're the one who is performing much better than that person, that is discrimination. And, and see, uh, I, I think that that's one of the areas in which like people don't view it as that they it's like they're almost like they're blind to it, like it like they have an inability to see it. But that is a really real, uh, real uh, area, which and and very prevalent everywhere. I, I was curious and I was going to if I would have had to guess, I would have said that I thought you would say it's everywhere, but it's just slightly different in different places. Yes, it is. It is uh, in the Middle East. It's the same, depending where your background is, what religion you follow and uh, um, which country you come from. It is there open uh, where I was born, for, uh, for example, there is discrimination between provinces. Right. Uh, yeah, like it's 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 everywhere and it is sickening like. Um, it's not only about black and white for me. There are uh, people that is religious discrimination. Uh, in some places, the Jewish get discriminated against and they get bullied. In some areas, the Muslims get bullied and discriminated against. In some areas, even the Christians, I found between them, between the Jehovah Witness and the Orthodox and the Catholic, there is this thing going on. And then, then there is the disability, people with disability being discriminated and uh, bullied against. And then you have the social status, which I've come to learn as a mother now that the social status is huge. It creates this discrimination and it creates um, bullying at the same time. So in the book, there, is, there are kids that you will, you will read their stories that would break your heart. Yeah. So it comes in. And it carries over. And you know, with being the leader of the Stop Self-Bullying Movement, you know that that just crushes my spirit to know because they, they carry it with them and then it impacts their life and the choices they make and the way they live their life and yeah. how they think about themselves uh, ongoing. And, and so it is such, that's such a problem. It is. Um, and it's, 
I swear most people when they're discriminating do it unconsciously. And I mean, like they're, they're doing it, but it's so quote unquote normal to them yeah. that they don't see it that way because they're not the one being discriminated against. Okay. So, you know, and I, that's why I want to, wanted to share your book with my viewers, because I think awareness is so important and this is real people talking about real life experiences and saying hey see me see my experience i'm not the only one and you have to understand my point of view to be able to be different going forward right yeah so with the book, what is your what is your intent with the book? I mean, I think I know what it is, but I'd like to hear what what you would like the book to accomplish. I would like it to reach f- to as many people as possible. And my intention is honestly to get to schools mm-hmm. because there are stories about some teachers there. There are stories about parents who actually teach their kids um, don't go with this kind of people or don't bring this kind of people into my home. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I would love to get to community centers. I would love to get to schools and colleges and speak about it from my experiences and from this, because I think it is not up to us to judge people. It is up to God to judge people. So we need to love one another. We need to respect one another for who we are. What I said, Absolutely. what I always say is, I have, believe it or not, Sherry, my best friends are, I have two of them Muslims. I have an Orthodox. I have a Roman Catholic. I have, one of them is a Hindu. One of them doesn't even believe in anything, but we are so close. What did we have in common? Our principles in life are identical, the same. We believe in the same thing, like don't lie, don't hurt, be compassionate, be kind, be helpful, don't discriminate. Did you, did you hear what I said? Like the Indian, the Muslim, the Middle Eastern, the European, but we share the same principles in life. So this is what I want people to learn to start doing. Love people for what they do, for who they are. Yeah, that's why I always say, you know, when you come out of the womb, you don't have those prejudices. Exactly. You don't you don't know how to discriminate. We are yeah. taught how to do that. Yes. Exactly. And if you can learn something, you can unlearn it. Oh yeah. I know. Oh, it's good. You know, yeah. that that's and I'm so happy that you are on that mission to really and really what you're doing is creating a better world. And, and it speaks volumes uh, to you that you are able to see the people, not uh, their, uh, the pieces of them that, you know, push them into a group. That, that's what I see discrimination as, is mm-hmm. somebody who has to put people in little boxes. And this is called outside the box with Sherry because I don't like boxes. And you know, this is why we love each other. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to be in a box. I don't want to be put in a box. And I don't want to ever put anyone in that yeah. same box, you know, exactly. because I don't, that's, that takes away from who they are. And I think that's really what discrimination does is when you label people into certain categories, if you will, or groups or whatever, it takes away their individual identity yeah, of who they are. Yeah. And now they're lumped in with a whole bunch of people that means some general thing. And, and really we're all unique, you know, and I always say we're an unrepeatable miracle exactly as we are. And there's yeah. literally no one in the world with our DNA. So yeah. quit putting us in giant groups and shoving us together and saying we're all the same because we're yeah. not the same at all. Yeah. Right. And so I I think it's crucial timing that we understand in this world that we are all individuals and um, that we all have value, however we show up in the world. Right. Yeah. And I I think that's going to be very clear in the book um, as each person is telling their stories that you see the value of them, their humanness. Right. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And, and I started writing this book back in 2019, by the way, then uh, I had the intention of, uh, I think it was end of March, beginning of April to do this huge book launch. And I have uh, quite a few of Italian friends who make wine at home. Eh? They were all excited. Oh, we're going to do the wine and we're going to prepare the food. We're going to have this. So they got me all excited. Then COVID happens in March, right? So I put it, I put it on hold up until I think it was August, September. I was having a coffee with my friend. She goes to me, what's up with your book? I told her, I did, we're not going to have a launch. We're not going to do this. And she goes to me, but that subject is really timely right now. Right. After what's and you know been what? happening. The, the, the reality is it, it, it's, it's timely always. It's been timely for hundreds of years. I know it has been. It. Yeah. It right? just I got mean, worse. It, it's here. It's a, it's a thing that always has been. And will likely always be, but you know what? If you have just even some, uh, that effort changes that even slightly, every one person that is more aware yeah. to me is worth it. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, that but... one person becomes aware and uh -huh. one person becomes more human, if you will. Yeah. Like okay. even if I go to school and I change the mindset of even 50% of the class, I would be so happy. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think, you know, that's, that's that whole thing is, you know, we don't have to uh, be a hundred percent successful. There isn't always just you either win or you lose, lose yeah. you know, this is about changing the tide right now um, and doing it, if you wanna say one drop at a time, right? You know, and, and having that impact that will impact the next generations. Because as you know, the, whoever is here today was impacted by the previous generations. Yes. As I said, you don't fall out of the womb and you're not, mm -hmm. oh, I'm, I'm prejudiced against this or I'm gonna discriminate against them or I'm not gonna hire them. We learn that that yeah. is taught and we can teach something different. Yeah. And so I'm so proud of you for standing up and Thank getting you. the story out and, and really highlighting real people, you know, yeah. because we sometimes will hear like celebrities or famous people talk about it and things like this, but these are real people real working people. in the real world, just yes. like you and I. Yeah. And I love that you chose that. Um, because I think it speaks to the people who are watching today, you know, yeah. that, wow, they're just like me. Yeah. Yeah. And this is my third book, by the way, it's not my first. So, uh, but this like came from the heart. I've been like meaning to do it. Like I have been into 22 countries and I have seen it almost not, I can't say everywhere. Like maybe there are two countries or so that where I didn't feel I was discriminated against, but everywhere. They just look at you as if like, like they don't even accept me as black. Some of the blacks, they call me colored and some people, they look at me like as this, you will read a lot of stories in this book. And this is what I got from my, uh, from my publisher. Can you see it? Uh-huh. Yep. This is the award. It's overpowered discrimination award. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it came by, it came, awesome. yeah, he gave it to me uh, virtually, but it came by mail. Um, it came, yeah, they, they shipped it to me. Like I was so happy and my son was so, and he said like, I'm so proud of you, mom. Well, and you know, that's just the thing. And I'm sure you raised an incredible human yeah. uh, that is very open Um to people of all races. Yeah. Um, and, and you know what, everybody can win. That's the thing. And I know I, I've been actually called a Pollyanna or whatever for <laughs> that, but I do believe that everybody can win. Everybody wins differently, but yes. I believe everybody can win and everybody can walk in love yeah. too. And that's why what you're doing really speaks to me. So okay. if people want to get this book or one of your other books, um, Gabby, how would they do that? How would they okay. connect with you? So we will be, uh, when you post this, I will have the landing page where they will get a free bonus from that. But okay. it's also available uh, on Amazon, okay. on paper copy and on Kindle. 
Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And that's amazing. And you're going to love the book. And I can't wait to to share that with people. If people want to connect with you or they would like to hire you to speak, to come to their group, their school, their community center, um, how would they reach out to you to do that? Okay. So um, they can email me. It's first name, last name at gmail.com, Gabi Abdelgadir at gmail.com. Or they can call me uh, 416-669-2057 is my cell number. And my Facebook, they can reach out to me uh, through my Facebook, which is uh, Gabby Declutter Queen. That's my name. It's just Gabby Declutter Queen. Yeah, that's I think because we need that's, to be decluttering some of this. I know, I know. That's <laughs> what my friends call me. And I said, oh, that's a good name, actually. To start a new Facebook page. So Gabby Declutter Queen. Okay. Um, send me a friend request and let's talk. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And I'm so proud of everything that you've done. And I'm actually really proud to, to call you friend as well, Thank Gabby. You, you know, you. it's always a delight whenever I, we talk, yeah. Yeah. we talk forever because it's how we are. So yeah. I know I yeah. love somebody. It's hard to get off. But anyway, I want to thank you so, so much for being a guest today on Outside the Box with Sherry. Uh, and I, I wish you great success. And, and thank I'm you. so proud of the mission um, that you're on. So thank you. Yeah. Uh, if anyone else would like to be a guest on Outside the Box with Sherry, you can email me at sherry at sherryleopold.com. We shine a light on those who are making a difference in the world and who think outside the box, uh, who want to break down those walls just like Gabby's doing. And uh, until next week, we will see you again on Outside the Box with Sherry. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Always a pleasure. You are welcome. Okay.